was at odds with the larger than life Texan drawn Sheldon. But their relationship would bring his greatest driving successes, including victory alongside Roy Salvatore at the Mont 59 and the one in the wonderful Aston Martin DBR1. Three months later, it was here at Goodwood that along with Jack Fairman and Sergey Moss, he won the RAC Tourist Trophy in the most dramatic of circumstances. Both victories handed towards Aston's triumph in that year's Sports World Championship. A little over a year later, Carol went out from driving. But perhaps his greatest achievements, and one we particularly celebrate this weekend, were yet to come. It was while racing in Europe that Carol noted America's need for an all-American sports car that he could drive to the market and go racing for the weekend. By 1962, with a successfully broken deal with Ford, he created the now iconic Shelby Cobra. And it's a wonderful collection that we have here today, including the very first example, and many that are still racing here with us. Of course, it was the Ford that Carroll really cemented his place in motor racing folklore. When in 1966, Having spent two years spearheading the development program for Ford's GT40, the Mark finally conquered the Le Mans 24 hours, beating arch rivals Ferrari in a 1 2 3 finish. And again, I'm delighted that such a key time in Carroll's career could be here with us this weekend, making our celebrations all the more special. Away from the race tracks of the world, we'll remember Carroll as a larger than life character a much-loved and much-missed pioneer both behind the wheel and from the pit wall. Even in 2000, when he first visited the revival, at the age of 77, he was still there, hanging over the pit wall, signaling Indy winner Dan Sullivan as he raced the wonderful Daytona Coupe to victory in that year's TT. He was due to join us at the Vibe in 2012, to which is the inaugural Shelby Cup, an all-cover race to celebrate the modern half-century. Sadly, he died shortly before the event. So it's especially wonderful that we can finally pay tribute to him today. As well as a host of very significant cars, I'm delighted to see so many of you wearing your iconic black steps in Carol's honour. I'm especially delighted also to welcome so many members of our own the Road Racing Club and the Team Shelby Club who travel all the way over here to celebrate this with us. As well as the club members, we'd also particularly like to, like, like, like to welcome Carol's family, including his grandsons, Aaron, Sean and Randall, and thank them for all their support and enthusiasm. Carol's legendary spirit certainly lives on in them. And so, while we celebrate our own history here at Woodward, we also celebrate the life, the career and the astonishing achievements of another of our great motor racing heroes. Ladies and gentlemen, Carol Shelby.